We are America. Let's see. A working vacation. Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno and tonight we are here for the UK premiere of The American as we see George Clooney in a very different role as an assassin. You have the hands of a craftsman. You are good with machines. I do what I'm good at. This is very much a modern day Western, isn't it? Um, yes, the, the, the framework is, is that of a Western indeed and also the the morality of it is it plays like a Western. And some other elements like the lack of back information on the, on the protagonist, yeah. There's, a, there's not very much use of dialogue within the, within the film. It, obviously that was purposely done. Could you share that we with us? Of, we run out of words to say. No, it, you know, it, it, it is not about the, uh, the dialogue. It's, it's about the internal uh, journey um, for change that, that, that the, the main person is after. And uh, George was an uh, ideal actor for that because he can say really a lot with very little. The, the characters of Jack and also uh, from what you did with Control with Ian Curtis, are there parallels with, with those people? I think the only parallel is really that it's another story about the loner. You know, um, For the rest I've actually tried to change purposely, so uh, almost every element of Control. Uh, because I wanted to be my second film, I wanted to have a very different experience to, to learn about filmmaking, basically, because I'm, I'm a novice at this. And the, the book the movie is based on is an English book with an English uh, main character. And, uh, you know, you, you can gather by the, the title of the American that that's no longer the case. You said, though, that you're a novice, but the film is very visual. Does your experience as a stills photographer set you up for that? I, I'm sure it has something to do with it, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, I find that you know, um, movies can't be only about image, but image is an important part of a film. Uh, and especially a film with very little dialogue. So uh, um, I, I'm very careful that films don't look like uh, French commercials. Uh, so I think the beauty is, is poetic, uh, uh, the visual beauty. But it, it, it is important, yeah. And very lastly, you used an Italian crew. What were the benefits for that for you? Um, that if, if, you, if you like coffee in the morning, you definitely will have coffee in the morning. Um, they, they were great. Um, and it, it's very... Uh, it's a big um, family vibe, actually, on the set with the Italians. And I suppose the local knowledge as well would always help a film crew too, the Italian local knowledge. Oh, totally. And, and, and the people in the villages where we filmed couldn't have been nicer to us. Uh, and I think they were kind of grateful as well that we made a film full stop. And then the film after the earthquake, that was very welcome for them. Yeah, a secret. You know, your role is very much the heart of the film, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> Well, yes, probably it's um, the, the the film is very harsh. Um, the characters are very isolated, and um, also Clara uh, is isolated and is extreme. But maybe somewhere deep inside of her, there's still space for a dream, to dream of a different life. So, eventually, after she meets Jack, um, there is space for romance, and probably it can be even stronger when when um, characters are so extreme, so have so much impossibility to, to live their feelings. They're very much kindred spirits. Sorry? Very much kindred spirits. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, and uh, I think at the beginning what brings them close is in fact this, this solitude, this kind of, in a way, two damned souls which somehow want to, to change their lives somehow. And you clearly got an excellent English accent, so did you have to have lessons to make you sound more provincial Italian? Uh, well, I did have a dialogue coach, which I already met in another movie, she's, she's very nice. And uh, yeah, I also inspired myself, you know, just thinking, I, I know how Italians uh, speak when they haven't studied in a, abroad or in an English school. So this girl was coming from a small town and probably what she learned was very basic. You have done much sinning. All men are sinners. Everything I've done, I've had good cause to do. Your, your character's very no-nonsense, isn't she? <laughs> Thank you, yes. <laughs> well put. <laughs> They're at very different stages. Obviously, she's an assassin, and, but her and Jack are at very different stages of the career, aren't they? They are, yes. I think um, she still has hope. Um, that she can have a private life and uh, feelings and be uh, softer. Uh, she's not as scarred as Jack is, um, and I think she still has hope that she can combine it, but it's hard. Jack is a warning, in a sense, for her. Uh, is, there, is there 
there any sort of preparation that you had to do, like a backstory for her? Did you have a picture in your head? Well, obviously the script is like a skeleton almost. So in that sense, we all knew where, where we were getting into. It's a very um, boned out um, script, which I loved. And um, there's a lot we are not supposed to tell or, or know about the characters. Which, and this, it, within this restriction is actually where the challenge is to try and make, I try to make her as much of a, the fact that she's an assassin and that she's cold and that she's um, as tough as Jack is and as good in a technical way as well. Um, that was there on the page, that's in the, that's in the scenes, so I tried to focus on making her as much of a woman as I could and to try and get as much of a meeting between a man and woman in as well, or between two, two human beings. Yeah, there's, it's like she's, um, she got to live up to him to prove to him that she's just as good as he is. Well, I think she almost skips that. I think she, 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 she knows that she can, she, I think that's done in the first moment they meet. She proves that, you know, in a... Okay because it shouldn't be about that. I think she, she uh, is, in that sense, more confident even than that. It's not about men and women or, or, or that. And you got to play with a lot of firearms and you were really quite an expert, weren't you? What was that like? Well, the gun was a very alien object before I did this film, but I've, I've, I've become quite good with it. I've got it down to 23 seconds or something too. And I've been told in the gun world that's fast, you know, to assemble it. But I had to be. I mean, uh, George is very good with guns as well, so I had to, you know, get my act together. A man can be rich if he has God in his heart. Well, that's it for day four of the London BFI Film Festival. We shall see you tomorrow for some more premieres. Good night, I'm Claire Bueno. You're watching Premiere Scene. George Clooney is the American. I don't think God's very interested in me, Father.